Alright, uh, technically it's the next day, so I'm gonna post another video and, yeah, but, uh, someone sent me a message, they said, Oh, he won't open this file, won't open this file, it just says blah blah blah, and I write, okay, give me a link and I'll download it and I'll tell you why it won't open. And so they eventually did. Um, and it was this keygen me right here, and when you run it, it's this nice, cool, little thing, it, you know, it says try again, it turns red, and, you know, you try and open it nolly, and it's an unable to start file. Alright, I wonder why. Well, let's PEID. C sharp dot net. Ah, duh, dot net. Um, basically dot net is like a compiled script that runs on a runtime and that's what .NET is, it's runtime. Um, you have to have the .NET framework to run .NET executables because it uses them. But anyways, so uh, very simply all you gotta do is get Reflector. Open Reflector. You can download it from pretty much anywhere. It loads and then you click File open. And you scroll down to the crack me, or key gen me, and it puts it right here. You expand it, and you expand it, and you expand, and well, we don't need that. So we expand the next one, form one. Well, that looks helpful. Button one, button one, click. Alright, well, let's click that. Let's double click it, actually. Okay. Now it opens this little window over here and in it is the code. So we see that uh, when we click button one it gets text box one's text and stores it in text. It then makes a new string called builder. Um, then it takes each byte of text and stores it in bytes and then it gets the length of bytes, how many characters there are. And now this line is going to add to the string builder this byte converted to hex. Then it's going to take, make a new string, call it str, and it's going to be our builder dot two string reversed and then add 2009 to it. Then you see this, if text box 2, that's what we enter for um, a serial equals string, which is the variable, then congratulations, else try again. So very simply put, uh, we can just run the keygen me again, and we can type in fjlj, and then we can open up an ASCII table, just like this, reverse it. So it's going to turn into A6, C6, A6, 6, 6. And then it appends 2009 onto the end of it. So this should be our serial. Paste and congratulations. Make a key gen. Very, very simple to do. Um, that's why .NET is one of the least secure things. There's programs that you can get to pack it and obfusc it and, you know, make it not so easy to decompile, but there's always a way to get down to it. Okay, so uh, we could make a quick key gen in Ruby if we wanted. It'd be something like
oops, <laughs> do a, uh, no, we need string equals s string. Uh, we'll do s string plus equal a dot uh, 2s16, it'll be hex. There you are, uh, .NET with uh, Reflector and uh, Simple Ruby Keygen. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This time, last time you did good on the rate, now click the subscribe. Big yellow button over there? Just Yeah, just click that. Yeah, tell your friends. You know, suggest some stuff to me, you know, like this person did. It's very nice of him. Anyways, have a good day.